The year is 1955. Number one on the Billboard charts is Rock Around the Clock, an earworm if I've ever heard one. Now, some random fun facts. In 1955, a hamburger with a side of fries set you back 30 cents. A comic book, a dime. A pulp novel, a quarter. It's been two days since Bailey's Comet almost decimated us, and we were somehow zapped back to the 1950s. I'm not sure how that happened exactly, and not sure if we're merely in the past or in the past of an alternate universe, but things are different here in Riverdale. And at Riverdale High, we're all juniors again. Betty and Kevin aren't merely friends, they're dating. None of them remember our lives from before we became teenagers again, and I haven't tried to remind them yet. You went skinny dipping? With James Dean? Once, or was it a regular thing? I suppose next you'll be saying you and Jimmy dated. No, but he did enjoy playing both sides of the net. Girls and boys. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Are you suggesting that James Dean was... But, I mean, he seemed like such a regular guy. Like a cowboy, almost. How dare you besmirch his memory like that? Don't you be so provincial. I don't know why I'm so surprised to hear such filthy lies coming out of the mouth of some wild child who grew up surrounded by perverts going to sex parties and orgies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have lost my appetite. What about Sal Minio? <laughs> 